Hey there, Christina. That's exactly right. You know, we could put those coats away over the weekend for a little while, at least lighten up some of the layers, but we're going to have to pile them back on this week. And we're talking about several threats of winter weather. One of them coming early tomorrow morning. We've got some light snow on the way. Really some good rain is going to roll in tonight, changing to some light snow early tomorrow. We have, we have some black ice we'll worry about even after the snow is faded tomorrow night because anything that's wet could refreeze tomorrow night as temperatures drop. And we actually have a potential for a higher impact event with rain, snow, and ice all possible this coming Wednesday. I'm going to get to that in just a second. But first, let's talk about what's in the near term. We've already got some rain showers that are trying to show up on the satellite and radar, and there's more where that came from. We've got this area of low pressure moving across this frontal boundary. It's getting ready to come in our way or come to us from the west. You can see some heavy rain over Bowling Green, Kentucky, for instance, right now. That rain will work its way uh, eastward as the night goes on. So once we get past midnight, especially here in the next couple of hours, we're really going to see the rain start to develop and become widespread. A good soaking rain, again, cold rain through the early morning hours. But for the most part, temperatures are above freezing. Then we gradually see this transition to snow across the area at the higher elevations north of I-61st, or I-64 first, then it gradually spreads down the mountains for a few hours. Now, it eventually comes to an end pretty quickly tomorrow afternoon. And because temperatures at the ground for most areas, aside from really high elevations, are going to stay above freezing, we are not expecting this to be a very high-impact event. In fact, a lot of us won't see much accumulation because, again, that ground's too warm. Roads should be okay in a lot of lower spots, but we're going to see some stuff on the grass, on cars, uh, on trees. This is a wet snow that's going to stick to stuff like that. But generally, we're just looking at trace amounts, maybe an inch or two at some higher spots across our western facing slopes. North of I-64, though, it's a different story. We've got colder air. It's coming in earlier. Those higher spots, especially in portions of the higher elevations of Raleigh, Fayette, and western Greenbrier and Pocahontas, you could see some more accumulation there. The only winter weather advisories we have out, though, are for western Greenbrier, Pocahontas counties, where generally you're looking at three to five inches, but you could see isolated amounts of up to six, seven, eight inches up near Snowshoe. That's where it's really going to be coming down, but that would be a winter storm warning for a lot of the area, but that's an advisory, of course, because they're used to that kind of snow at this time of year up at the resort up there. Now, as far as our wind chills go, it is going to be kind of breezy tomorrow, a little gusty at times. It'll feel like it's in the 20s throughout the entire day. Temperatures will actually drop a bit instead of rise throughout the day. That is concerning because this chilly air that comes in behind the system sets the stage for the next one I mentioned that could come through on Wednesday. Tuesday looks dry, but we could see a mixture of rain, snow, and ice into Wednesday. And right now, we're not looking at any specific amounts just yet, but we could see at least several inches, I'm thinking, north of Highway 460 with some sleet and freezing rain mixing in, especially south of there, which would leave room for some travel issues, possibly some potential power loss, depending on how much accumulation of wet snow and ice we could get. So that's something to really look at midweek. But in the meantime, prepare for a slick commute early tomorrow in some spots. A chilly week ahead, Christina. Thanks for